In the name of Allah, the most merciful and the most compassionate, a Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. My tutorial today is about ABR in clinical practice. The first comprehensive description of a deuterium pranostoma response, ABR in humans, was Jawad. Auditory evoked potential or ABR auditory brainstem response or brainstem auditory evoked response. Assess the integrity of auditory system to the level of the brainstem. Auditory brainstem response set up for threshold detection using click or tone pairs, starting with high level down to threshold and for neurological assessment by comparing absolute peak latencies inner oral peak latencies and inner peak latencies at low and high repetition rates what is the possible retrocochlear signs raised or absent acoustic reflex acoustic reflex decay unilateral or asymmetrical sensory hearing loss. Conditions that may present an abnormal ABR. Central nervous system disorders like multiple sclerosis, unilateral or asymmetrical sensory hearing loss, Acoustic neuroma or vestibular schwannoma with poor speech discrimination score, central auditory processing disorder, unilateral tinnitus, and auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder. Recording evoked potential, proper care of the electrodes and impedance are important because this is the medium for collection of evoked potential data. Inner electrode impedance is the most important one. What about the impedance? The goal is to have low electrode recording of less than 5 kilo ohms each with no more than 2 kilo ohms difference between electrodes. Keep in your mind, auditory evoke potential have very small voltage. It is measured in microvolt and are easy to be compromised by noise. So, the noise might be physiological noise, eye movement, muscle activity, vascular spasm, vas vascular system, breathe, alternating current 60 Hz artifact, and environmental noise. Test environment in quiet room, turn off unnecessary computer monitor, don't use cellular phone during testing, and turn off fluorescent lights. What about transducers? The best option for ABR is answer phone tubes. In some cases, we can use Supra or earphone TDH 39. The stimuli used collect stimulation, Tom Paris in sharp. Click ABR is the standard procedure, but in frequency range 2 to 4 kHz, so mass path low and higher frequencies. But Tom Paris ABR is a frequency specific ABR. The typical Tom Paris correction factors 20 decibel for 500 Hz, 15 decibel for 1 kHz, and 10 decibel for 2 and 4 kHz. What about the stimulus polarity? We have alternating polarity. Refaction polarity and condensation polarity. 
the mature form of ABR at and uh, 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 the mature form of ABR at two years or uh, from uh, 18 months to two years because of myelination and cochlear maturation. So, ABR measures improve presence of response, waveform morphology, waves repeatability, and latency, absolute and inner wave latency. This illustrates the latency, amplitude, and waves. What about masking in ABR? In case of unilateral hearing loss with air conduction threshold for clicks, more than 70 decibel NHO. So the masking level is 50 decibel NHO. And we use masking also in bone conduction ABR as the bone vibrator inner aura attenuation is zero. So remember, avoid masking if masking is not necessary. This is a normal ABR. We can look here identifiable, repeatable, ABR waves could be traced down to 30 decibel NHO, reflecting normal hearing in frequency range 2 to 4 kHz. This is absent ABR waves. Non-identifiable nor repeatable ABR could be traced at maximal stimulation 90 decibel NHO. In that case, we have to do autoacoustic emission, we have to do MRI to show the integrity of the cochlea in the cochlear microphonics by EcoG. Threshold estimation hearing, hearing loss, in that case, identifiable, repeatable, ABR waves could be traced down to 60 decibel NHO, reflecting moderate hearing loss in frequency range 2 to 4 kHz. This is a case of bone, bone conduction ABR. Some difference between bone conduction ABR and air conduction ABR. The bone conduction ABR frequency range around one and a half kilohertz. And also there is a latency shift than air conduction ABR 0.5 millisecond. This is a case of a deuter neuropathy spectrum disorder as we see here. Refection click, refection polarity, then condensation polarity when reverse polarity, then disappear the cochlear microphonic at alternating polarity. In other case of a deuteronomopathy spectrum disorder, refection click, refection polarity, condensation, and disappear cochlear microphonic at the alternating polarity. This traced by VivoLink or VivoSonic ABR non-sedating ABR, the best ABR ever the best non-sedating ABR in the market. Thank you for watching. Peace on Allah's mercy be upon you.